Ohio Fish Rescue. We are here. I'm Greg Whitstock Tapanga, and I am super excited to take you back to Ohio Fish Rescue. He's the one I'd watch out for if you're underwater. That's the one. Niger cats, if you are down there and they come up close to you, they can't hurt you, they won't bother you. But if they're up close to you and you spook one of them, they'll swat their tail and they have these little bone spikes sticking out all the way down. They can, you know, draw blood. Just lead the way. <laughs> you're a nutcase. I'm the nutcase. That's Mike Tyson's carpet you're walking on, son. <laughs> Big Rich and Josh, what's up boys? We've just been sitting here hanging out and looking at the beautiful Aquascape ecosystem pond. We built this last May. You guys came to get dirty, yes? Yeah. yeah. One year ago today, we came here. What'd you think of that process, boys? Muddy mess. <laughs> it, was, it was so muddy. It looks a little different than when I left it. But I must say, it was one of the best chocolate milk ponds <laughs> in the country. It was a muddy mess working out here, but we had such a fun time. We had certified Aquascape kind from all over the Midwest come to Ohio Fish Rescue. We're gonna show you this pond first, but then we're gonna really take you to the piece de resistance, which is through that door right there. When we designed this pond, you know, we've got a mechanical aquascape skimmer over there, the bio falls up here. It's still May, so that it's been a little bit cold, so the plants aren't fully up yet, right? right, right, right. Just a few goldfish in here, a couple of koigs, uh, even a few golden orf. Yeah, look at that beautiful golden orf. That's a big gold north too. What happened when we first put the fish in here? This was a crazy, crazy story. Tracy was in love. Tracy was like, couldn't wait for a fish to get in. We get the fish in there, 39 total. They were in there for about a week. Tracy comes out here this one morning and she says, Rich, there's no fish in there. We go out looking and sure enough, there was no fish in here. Thieves managed to steal 35 out of 40 koi a value of over $3,000. We actually later found seven sitting there, so they stole 32 koi out of our pond. We actually had koi bandits that came in, so we're gonna build another koi pond in the back. We got all the koi inside we're gonna see in a minute here, and this is gonna become just a goldfish pond, correct? Yeah, we used it all last summer for take a goldfish, leave a goldfish. We have them churches that do these things with the goldfish in the pools and the kids catch yep. them. I try and stop it, but we can't stop it, but we can give the goldfish a place when people can't take care of it. Hence, Ohio Fish Rescue. Right. Okay, so we got a beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond. I love the bridge that you guys added here. We've got the biofalls up top. We have some color changing lights in here. Uh -huh. It's absolutely amazing at nighttime. You, you come out here, the whole pond's just glowing different colors, and then they actually position lights on the waterfall so you can see the glimmer of light going through the water and projecting onto the, the back house. wall. Yeah, it's so nice. I always thought about this place was what an unbelievable place, and you're gonna see it inside here in a sec, but there was nothing out front to really signify this. Now you have a beautiful entry. There's not a person that's gonna walk by there and not notice this water feature. And we got a conversation piece. See that waterfall right there? The guy that actually got on his hands and knees and built that actual waterfall, none of the other contractors did. This guy did it himself. He turns out to be Greg the pond guy. <laughs> Everybody driving up to this place is gonna see this. This thing's gonna pop out out at night actually got <laughs> muddy as can be that day he was proud of, of building that himself i still enjoy getting my hands dirty that is a beautiful waterfall i mean we used limestone this comes all the way from missouri we get this shipped in here and it's aged limestone you don't want to use new limestone right out of the earth but aged limestone you could hides the biofalls up there beautiful waterfalls if i do say so myself i love the sound the sound is just spectacular up here. It's a perfect spot. And so talk a little bit about this bench and why Tracy wanted you to add it. This was really for her. This is really Tracy's pond. This little river section here, none of the big koi come up, but all the little ones would come up here. You know, a little bridge over here, like them little Chinese bridges. She loves that, that, that idea. So I built her this. It only came over here to this area here. And these rocks were closer over, over this way. And that was a little bit bigger area. The bridge didn't really lead enough. Tracy wanted, build me my own little place to sit. We took the rocks and reformed them and made, made these steps right here. Now we can come over here. This is her little lover's lane. Sit here and just watch her, her koi feed them from this point right here. And then you let Josh sit over here. <laughs> So this is actually a pretty pretty nice swing. So this really changed the entire front of your yard, and I'm assuming how you use it as well. We never sat out front of our house before. Everybody would come in the house, we'd hang out back. Now we actually had to put in these picnic tables to have more people sit up here because people congregate to the pond. We were standing around the pond for hours a day. Well, it's a spectacular <laughs> entry to the home. Now, let's go see the real piece de resistance right through those doors. Just follow the hair, just lead the way. 
<laughs> From the laundry room to paradise. Paradise. <laughs> you just cannot make this up. And you're going swimming in this today, right? I'm going swimming. Oh, look at this big four foot alligator guard up here on the top step. He's just chilling there, huh? Holy cow. See if I can get him to move a little bit without spasm. Wow. So what is the story with him? That came from Vincent Wu in California, one of the rare oddball fish. He's a short body alligator gar. He's got the head and the tail of a six footer, but he's only four foot. There's a regular alligator gar. See the albino one over there? Yep. Long and thin and torpedo like. Yep. He's a lot bigger in the center. He's the short body. This pool is how we met. When Rich said, I'm thinking about converting this into a swimming pool because he put some goldfish in here, right? And Tracy didn't notice. He stopped coordinating it. Yeah. He said you were looking for a way to filter it. And I go, I know just the guy that knows how to filter this. Ed Ballou, the pond professor. Once you understand the basics, you could easily create larger ones or smaller ones or anything in between. Turns out you guys were the guys that needed to do this. This is just amazing. Tell us the story of Ohio Fish Rescue. I got into the fish thing with my youngest son, Josh. Got into cars with his older brother. Josh didn't like cars. Josh liked the fish tank I had. I had a 300 gallon. We started getting bigger fish and, and more fish and doing stuff like that. And then when I could afford it, I, I bought more tanks. We set up a little pool in the garage. And Josh just was really into it. So this is something I can do with my son. We bought this house 10 years ago and it had a built-in swimming pool. And, you know, it was great. It was a fun time. I built on this addition over here for all the fish tanks. And then we started building on and having more fish tanks. Well, the bigger we got, the bigger tanks we had, the more people were calling us. I don't know what to do with my fish, it's way too big. A few years go by and we've got these big tanks and now we're taking big monster fish from people. Someone come by and said, you know, why don't you open up an actual not-for-profit organization? You could get possibly donations from companies and other things. And I was like, that sounds like a, a fantastic idea. Donations from companies. Two years ago, we got Ohio Fish Rescue 501c3, a not-for-profit organization. The first person to come out here donate was Greg Woodstock, the pond guy in Aquascape. Donations from companies. Turn this swimming pool into a beautiful aquascape ecosystem predatory pond. The way I got this started was Tracy liked her fish. I got her into koi. She didn't care about the rest of them. Once I got her koi, she was just into it and she loved her koi. I wanted to make sure that I could turn this pool into a predator pond. I stopped using chlorine. I started using algae side. And for three months, I had three one inch goldfish in here. Stayed alive worked fine i kept testing parameters everything was fine she didn't even know about it then one day i put like 10 of her koi in here all the smaller ones about you know a foot long or so I brought her out here and she's like rich i got her into the water and the shallow end over here and they all came up to her i'll come up to her legs and started like kissing her, her legs and she walked backwards and they all she was like she was the pied piper they all just <laughs> followed around her and she's like oh my god rich this is so cool and she was sold she was i was allowed to do whatever i wanted after that describe the process that we used to build this first we had to empty all the water out that took me three days the water was down that end was 12 feet deep on that side guys got here all your cac's and everybody got here the first thing they did was take some of your aqua block they laid on them and went down the, the slump because it was so steep and they went halfway up the other wall over there <laughs> Everybody's pulling wheelbarrows full of gravel in. Blackstone was on pallets outside. We had to carry that in. One day, we got almost all of this done and finished up the second day. Less than two days, we converted this swimming pool. Look at this, my goodness. Into this pond with our aquascape system down there that Ed Ballou designed himself. That whole underside where it used to be 12 feet deep is now only about six and a half, seven feet deep. Everything under that is the Aquascape wetlands filter system. This has been amazing since. You've got your intake system over here and then all that right there, that's all, that's the snorkel for the whole wetland filter underneath. The whole deep end, basically 20 foot by 20 foot is all filtration. It keeps the water and it's sparkling when you look down at it. It's just beautiful. And you actually, take the fish tanks and run them through here because of the extra filter that you have in the pond. Right, all the fish tanks that, that get uh, filtered in there now drain over into here and I have a pump in here drain, pumping up to my fish tank. They're all on the same water for the ease of moving fish, but it does happen to take a, a load off of my filtration in there. It's a very good design, I like it. And so the koi back here? These are Tracy's koi and we're using that as a background 
for this. We're trying to make this all jungle and natural looking. The more we can do to it, the better it looks. So we're using that as a background right now until we decide to build this you know, pond in the back. Then the koi can go out there and we can do other fish here. In here we have a multitude of different monsters. If you can see right in front, that's a four foot alligator guard. He's the one I'd watch out for if you're underwater. That's the one. <laughs> he gets a little close, just you know, wave your hand at him or something and he'll stop being interested. Here we've got Brutus. He's a almost five foot arapaima. We've got two more platinum alligator guards, some peacock bass in here, four, three foot, three and a half foot red tail catfish, maroon sharks, your desk sharks that are definitely well over three foot, Mexican musk turtle, the giant garamis in here, the albino one, niger cats. If you are down there and they come up close to you, they can't hurt you, they won't bother you, but if they're up close to you and you spook one of them, they'll swat their tail and they have these little bone spikes sticking out all the way down, they can, you know, draw blood, slice them. Oh, look at this guy. He's four foot. He's a red tail uh, tiger shovel nose mix hybrid. He is the tank boss. Every fish that goes in there has to mess with him. He comes up and checks them out. And if they want to fight, he fights back. But if they submit, he's the tank boss. All of these fish are rescues. Every one of them. People who go to the store and they, they pick up a little, some people call them vegetarian piranha, but they're actually paku and they're small. They're only $1.99, but they can grow. I've got one in there at 36 inches. He's about this tall. Or her, her name is Betty. Over 50 pounds. People don't realize how fast these things grow and they outgrow their environment and they try and do right and buy a bigger tank when well, you do that once and you go through the cost of it then you're just like I don't know what to do that's when you call in Ohio Fish Rescue we will come take your fish we'll give it a, a, a home place to stay we give all of our extra fish if we get 10 or 15 red tails we'll give 10 of them to the local uh, public aquariums we now work with nine but we can only call them every once in a while we can't call them every time we get a new fish in but when we get overcrowded in some of the tanks in there then they'll come and take a whole lot we don't charge nothing for that we give the fish a better home than I can give them here. The public aquariums have a bed on staff 24-7. They have actually bigger tanks than us. It's a win-win for everybody. It's just amazing. The reason Rich and I get along so good. We're both big kids living out our hobbies, which is just fantastic. It's been a great relationship with Big Rich. I've just spent the last two hours swimming around in this pond. It's spectacular with the animals. It's just so cool to see people living their dreams. And it's fun for me to be able to support a place like Ohio Fish Rescue. Check out the link. You can support them too. Possibility winning Dwight Howard's fish tank that has been at Aqualand and now is being replaced by Greg's Turtle Topia. We're donating that to Ohio Fish Rescue. And if you want to be part of that raffle, it's 25 bucks and you could win. Why wouldn't you want to support a place like this doing cool things, rescuing animals, taking care of people, just having a blast. This is why I love to say, I love my job. And so does Ritz. <laughs>